Hello everyone, I'm Esira. So, before I begin my talk this time, I would like to show you a video. Let's watch that together. Everyone, this is the example of busker, a person who entertains people for money in public places. In Indonesian context, we call it as pengamen. Now, let me ask you something. What do you think about the children in the video when you are watching it? You may think that they don't go to school, they are uneducated, and they don't have money for that. You may also think that their first priority is to earn money by becoming buskers from early age. And maybe, you also think that they won't have bright future, and that's it. However, all children in the world need and deserve education. This is an important thing for them, and why is it so? Through education, they can have power to close the gap in social inequality. Not only for their social life, but also to develop their own life. That is why, in this talk, I want to inform you about the importance of education for children, not only for themselves, but also for the world, for all of us. In my country, Indonesia, I see so many children do not go to school. Take for example, I see some children as bus car in traffic light. Sometimes they are in bus station and other public places, as you can see in this picture. Well, every one of us must know about the importance of education for children, including the effects of it in line with today's topic. This time, I will talk about two main points. The first one is about the positive effects of work with children's education. And the second point is about the negative effects of work without children's education. So, what are the positive effects? Actually, there are so many positive effects that the world can get from children's education. But today, I will just talk about three positive effects of it. First, children's education decreases poverty. How can it be? Basically, education and poverty are linked. Just like a tree, poverty has many roots. But among many causes of global poverty, one factor stands out. Can you guess that? What is it? Education. According to UNESCO, if all students in low-income countries had just basic reading skill, just had basic reading skill, nothing else, an estimated 171 million people could escape extreme poverty. What does it mean? It means that global poverty rate can be cut by more than half itself. Well, such a simple thing but gives a big change for the world. Another positive effect is children's education promotes health. Just like poverty and education, health and education are also linked. Families with higher incomes can more easily purchase healthy foods, have time to exercise regularly, and pay for health services and transportation. In other things, the job insecurity, low wages, and lack of assets associated with less education can make individuals and family more vulnerable during hard times, which can lead them to poor nutrition, unstable housing, 
unmet medical needs, and many more. That is how student education affect health. The last positive effects of children's education is uh, it provides economic growth. This is in line with the previous effects actually. If children with education has grown up to be adults, education can increase their chance at obtaining a steady job. By earning an income, they can contribute to the country's economic as a whole. And government needs to think about this. Moreover, among those positive effects, there are also so many negative effects that we may already seen around us. The first negative effects of work with children's education begin with poverty trap. Yep, we know that education provides the ability for someone to access the knowledge necessary to make a living. Without it, lacking access to a proper education puts an individual at risk of falling into poverty trap. The poverty trap involves the inability to escape poverty due to lack of resources and skill. We never want to hear more about that. Similar to poverty trap, without children's education, there will be lack of representation too, lack of voice. Basically, education is an agent of change. Children will grow and change the w this world through education. And if now they are uneducated, in future, they won't have skills or confidence to speak up for themselves. They will find it very hard to speak up about their own situation and find a way to improve their life. Now, if they can't even find ways to improve their lives, will they even try to do it for their country? For the world? Will they make contribution to the world? Well, we know the answer for that. Property trap and lack of representation can promote high rate of exploitation. This is the last negative effect that I am going to talk about. Limited education and poverty can lead people to find many ways to make a living even, even if the ways are not good ones. Specifically, girls and women often become the victim, victims of exploitation, such as uh, child marriages, prostitution, and many more. And uh, they have lack of voice to speak up for themselves, and this thing will keep happening. In summary, those positive effects of children's education and negative effects if world without children's education give us thought on how important education for children is. Once, a Chinese philosopher said, give a man a fish and he will eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he will eat for a lifetime. From this wise quote, it shows us that we need to start to think and do action to make a real value in our society about education for children, since we know how important it is. If we want to achieve all those positive effects such as reduction of poverty, better health, and economic growth, we need to consider education for children as an important thing. Imagine, if everyone knows and understands about the importance of children education, it can be the first step of stepping into a better world. That is all for me. I hope that it can change your mindset about how important children's education is. Thank you so much for your attention. Have a good one, everyone.